How's it going guys? Angus here from Maker's Muse and today is very special because look what just came in the mail. Yes my friends, this is an up box from Tier Time. I've got some awesome news coming up, but you just have to wait till after the break to find out. So here I've got the Upbox from Tier Time. I've worked with Upboxes before, I've installed many Upboxes, but I've never had the chance to really play with one. So I was recently contacted by 3D Printing Systems here in Australia, and they wanted to basically get in touch and send me through an Upbox to do a review. And there's some awesome news coming up about 3D Printing Systems in a minute. Let's, let's first, you know, crack it open and see what's inside. So the first thing you'll notice is how huge the box is. The Upbox is not a small 3D printer by any means. It's massive, it has a big print volume, and it's one of the only few machines on the market that can print ABS reliably with very little warping at that size. Here we go. So like all good printers, it comes with lots of foam packaging to keep it safe during transit. So let's just get that out of the way. Ah, cool. So something really cool about the UPS is they have these fiberglass print beds, something that worked really well but it seems to be quite unique to the UP printers. So you've got this massive print bed, that, that's the print volume on the, on the UP box. It's pretty big compared to like the UP Mini, UP Mini's like a quarter of that. So it's a pretty big print bed, but you do need to print with a raft using these platforms because they've got the holes in it. So what they're doing now is they send you these platforms as well. This is a completely smooth platform for printing raftless on your UP box, really neat. So I'll just put them aside. And we'll get this top layer off. Also comes with a USB cable, so like the other ups, the up box runs off USB. You plug it into the computer directly, and when you print to it, you send the files and they cache onto the printer, and then you can disconnect it and let it print. All right, get this foam off. And there we have it, that's the up box. It's a big, big printer, and it's a fully enclosed 3D printer, which means it can keep the heat in the chamber, which means when you're printing an ABS, you get much less warping. So, let's have a look. I'm gonna unpack it carefully. So your up box will come with the shrink wrap around it, as well as the foam. Let's put that aside. More foam to protect it from careless couriers. And that's the up box. It's a really, really sexy printer, absolutely. So let's open that up. Got some more foam inside to protect the movement axes during shipping, but I think at this stage, I should be able to just lift it up. A little bit girly with my strength. Let's give it a shot. Oh, that's a big printer. Oh dear. <laughs> let's push the box out of the way. I didn't think this far ahead in my filming, and let's put him down temporarily. Oh. Oh. <laughs> big printer. An equally big box. Okay. There we go. I'm just gonna adjust the camera so you can actually see it. All the other accessories of the up box are included at the bottom of the box and it comes with a power supply, small toolkit, some pliers, safety glasses and a roll of filament which is already fitted, in my case, to the machine. So the up box is definitely a premium 3D printer. It's one of the best printers I've actually come across so far. It has a completely enclosed build chamber, a HEPA filter to keep uh, nasty fumes out and when you're printing an ABS it's really important to have a chamber to keep the heat in. You can just see in here that you know, the whole chamber is enclosed and it has automatic touch off nozzle height calibration and bed leveling calibration, everything completely automatic, it even has a pause a sensor, so when the door opens it pauses, and it doesn't have a filament sensor, but you can easily do a hack to rewire the door sensor to the filament, so it actually pauses when it runs out of filament. Really freaking sweet. So I love the ups, and I'm looking really forward to giving this machine a really in-depth review very shortly here in Maker's Muse. So about the big news I have, well basically I love the ups, I've been working with ups for a long time, and I stand behind the product as a reputable 3D printer that I do recommend to people from a non-biased perspective. So Maker's Muse, as you know, is completely non-biased. Everything I talk about is my own opinion. 
but I got approached by 3D Printing Systems to do some videos on their channel about the ups and other products they sell. So what I'm going to be doing is work with them to produce some awesome content and some in-depth tutorials around the ups and upcoming products from 3D Printing Systems. I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't really stand behind the products in the first place. As I said, I love the ups, I love my original up mini, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to working with them. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this video here on Maker's Muse, and you can look forward to a fully in-depth 3D printing review of the up box very shortly. And I'll keep you updated on how things go with 3D printing systems. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe to Make Us Muse so you don't miss the review of the up box. I highly recommend you do subscribe because you don't want to miss seeing what this 3D printer is capable of. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you again very shortly here on Make Us Muse. Catch you later.